Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the Black Series Ray Speeder, uh, Jakku Speeder. And um, I was actually pretty excited about this one. I wasn't expecting to see this in the list when Force Friday happened. So when I saw it, um, I saw it at Toys R Us. Some Toys R Us had some. But where I did notice that I saw a lot of them was Best Buy. Uh, Best Buy now has like a little toy or collector toy area right near the movie section I believe or I guess in some places my Best Buy had it near the movie section and they had both Ray and Luke uh, six inch black series vehicles so I immediately scooped it up uh, I'm a big fan of this one it's not too huge like the TIE Fighter from Force Awakens I picked it up and I just realized I don't have room for that uh, this particular size is fine so I'm okay with this size so let's get it unboxed and take a look um, so just judging by the back of the box, uh, there is some pretty cool features. Um, the little net is actually functional that she puts uh, BB-8 in. Uh, the side panel pops off so you can actually see the engines. Uh, another compartment to show the engines and it does come with a tilting display stand. Uh, there is a quick little description here. Let's see without the glare. It says, for quick transportation across the junk strewn dunes of Jakku, Ray lies on her old salvage speeder. Not too much detail there. Uh, this is number three. So I'm guessing the TIE Fighter was number one, Luke's was number two, and this is number three. So let's open this up. Take a look what we get. Let me just pull that side out. There are the contents, um, got the stand, the speeder, and the side little pieces, and then you get an array. Uh, now this six inch ray uh, does have cloth, so it has soft goods, which is cool, because the six inch ray from the Force Awakens line did not have any soft goods, so that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the ray figure real quick again it does have her mask and I'm not sure if that's removable or not um, to be honest with you I don't think it is nope this is part of the sculpt yeah it's part of the sculpt this is not coming off uh, as you can see it rotates but I don't think this part comes off so the soft good is only her little uh, tapers there, and the part of her actual taper that goes over her head is not. So just as an update, it's not entirely all soft goods, but that's okay. Um, so everything seems to be moving fine. Her ankle joints are a little stiff. That's all right. I do like now that she has soft goods. That looks way better. Now she does come with a pack. with her pack here it's got those little water containers that she uses to drink out of from force awakens uh, she does have ah this is the part that goes over her face i'm not sure how that actually sticks on all right there's a little a little indent above her cheek below her cheek it's about the bottom piece of her mask on and then you can kind of just take it out. Cool. All right, and it comes with her staff. I'll probably put that on the speeder. All right, so that's Ray in her cloth. That's pretty cool. Let's get the big boy out. Uh, looks like it's rubber banded on there. So let me grab some scissors to cut those. Scissors probably be easier. I'm afraid I would cut the. Ah, uh, this must be the junk that goes on the side. Well, 
that's the speeder. Let's see. That's pretty detailed. Uh, there's the front engine compartment, the air intake, I guess. It does have that big dent that you do see in the movie. Um, the net is actually soft goods. Uh, it's not a hard piece of plastic. And there is little loops to put it on her speeder like she does in the movie. It goes like that. That looks pretty good. The detail is amazing. Uh, looks like these do come off. So I'm not sure why you want to take those off. Um, this little compartment here shows more details of the actual engine. I believe this also drops down to show more details of the engine, which looks awesome. The detail is amazing. I believe this opens up as well. Now you can either open that up or the whole side opens up. So you can either get a full view, put that on, Oops. slide that on there first, then it snaps in, or you can just do a small view. So that's pretty cool, depending on how you want to break it away. Uh, the actual dashboard if you want to call it. it looks pretty cool very detailed uh, these do move the handles do move um, so do the if it like a pedal down here or foot foot peg those do move so that's cool uh, these also move in the back that's awesome and that's about it. So a lot of cool little features. And it stands without the stand. If you can see that. But obviously you want that floating motion. Let me get the stand out real quick. So the stand is very clear plastic. Um, pops in the bottom. And that's it. it does take some force to get it in there for sure but that's cool that looks real cool uh, now it does come with like this junk all in one big piece of plastic I don't know I think it looks cool without it to be honest with you uh, let's see what it looks like with it on So that is with the junk on. I'm thinking I like it with the junk off of it, but I'll leave it on there for now. Um, I'm not sure what that is on the side. Alright, let's see. Let's get right on there. Obviously, we'll put her in her seated position. Like she's riding it. Her hands aren't really open enough to get her hand all the way around the handle. So that's going to be tough. Let me get a better picture there and focus in. There you have it. It's Ray Six Inch Black Series Ray's Jakku Speeder. I think it looks good. The details are great. Um, let's, get, let's get old BB-8 on there. See what he looks like on this thing. 
Let's see. Let's give BB-8 a ride. Old BB is gonna fall right to the bottom. <laughs> the hooks are pretty deep. Let's give BB8 a ride. BB8 falls right to the bottom. <laughs> Well, BB-8 will fall right through the bottom, but that's not what we got it for. Either way, I think it looks amazing. Great detail. Lots of cool engine compartments. Um, the stand looks great. The detail on Ray is amazing. Uh, I would definitely recommend to pick it up. Uh, the price point is $60, so it is a little pricey. So you're actually paying about $40 bucks for the vehicle and $20 for the FIG. Um, either way sweet pickup i would recommend picking it up if you can if you can find it at an easier time finding it at best buy again subscribe to my youtube channel uh, i will be unboxing the rest of the force friday pickups and whatever comes out after that all right youtube take it easy